In this video, we'll be putting together the relay board. The relay board is used to control the, uh, the heater of the um, extruder and um, we'll have two relays, a place for the wires to go for terminals, for a power supply type of a terminal, and we'll have two diodes. The diodes will be going on first. The diodes will be going into these two locations. Diodes have polarity, so they have to be put in in the correct way. In other words, the diode has a positive side and a negative side. The basic function of a diode is that current will only be able to pass through the diode in one direction. So if you have it in the reverse direction, uh, you'll be blocking all the current that you need to, to flow. Simply take the diode and bend the leads and just put the leads into the two holes made for the diode. Now we need to solder all of these joints. And before we solder, make sure that you have a, a good soldering iron and make sure that you have a clean soldering tip and on a damp sponge, the soldering tip should be slightly silverish. You can tin your solder, soldering iron by adding a little bit of solder and then wiping it off. You'll have a good, a good tip to work with. You don't want to add any solder to the tip Put the tip against the pad and the lead. Apply the solder between the soldering iron and the lead and the solder will drop into the pad. Be sure to get the solder as close to the pad as possible if not touching the pad. And you'll want the solder to have a curve form from the pad up to the lead. To the lead. So we have installed the diodes and we've soldered them in. Um, it's also important to know that uh, when you're soldering a bunch of components on a board, it's best to start with the small ones first so you can, you'll be able to put those in. Um, if you started with the larger components then tried to put the small ones in, you may not be able to have the reach or uh, be able to get the leads in there. The next component we'll add is the power connector and the power connector goes in this location and you can see by these little chamfers in the corner um, how you'd put the put the connector in. There's little chamfers here. This is really important because the connector can, um, is also um, it requires a specific orientation since these wires you know relate to um, either power or ground. Since this component doesn't have long leads uh, you might find that when you turn this over it will uh, this will, ha will be able to fall out pretty easily. So I just use scotch tape to I just use scotch tape really. It's probably the easiest method just to keep it in for the moment. And now it can be turned over. The same. Watch out for the scotch tape. You don't want to burn that. Now we'll add the two sets of terminals. So four, four position terminals. We'll add these to this side and this side. I'm going to use the tape method again. Do one at a time. It also helps uh, that I've noticed when you use the side of the soldering iron instead of the tip of the soldering iron, soldering iron. And once you get the solder to flow, it'll sort of pop into place. And once it does, um, it'll be well adhered to both surfaces. Make sure you inspect each soldering joint just in case you have to reflow it, reflow the solder. Now the final two pieces we're going to be putting on is are the, the relays.
you can see that because of the, the pin configuration, there really is only one way to put this in. So you probably put them both in and then tape it down. So that completes the soldering of the relay board.